Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And here we have Flamengo against Fluminense. This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now, and I'm eager for the action to start. Goes wide. Firmly met. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Playing it again. And that was asking just too much of him. for him what a save terrific reactions defense has got rid of that pushes it out wide tries a long pass towards the front charges in Damiao looking to get on the end of this header Oh, not the best of headers. Well, this has been an aggressive attacking start from them. They've been very much on the front foot, and if they maintain this pressure, it's looking very good for them. Enrique. Tries a through ball. Tries the route one option. Flamengo, very much the team that started on the front foot. Well, it's been a, a very purposeful start. I can add powerful too. They've set about their task with terrific energy. Gets it into the middle. That's not the cross he had in mind. Steered out wide. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Towering header! And that's caused a worry or two. Work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Out for a throw. Looks to slip it through. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. out on the left now boots it upfield there's no flag brings it forward now it's Damiao gets his head to it he's done very well to get to that well I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order Peter that was very good to watch So what now? Now the pass. Now that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick.
been in, just needed a better final ball. Yeah, I think the problem there was that the pass was, was telegraphed. An easy read for the defence. No goals as yet. Pings it out wide. And that had to be more accurate. run down the left what can they make of it great run this he's covered quite a distance it's well blocked and back out it comes really didn't have enough to concern the defense some good play on the left hand side now to profit from it he's made sure that that won't get through Damiao, can he find a finish now? Danger averted for now. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Reflections on the first half? Well, I think despite the scoreline, it's been watchable and enjoyable. We certainly had a, a vibrant start, and if we were going to see a goal, it, it should have come then. But the odds are favourable for, for this second half. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Flamengo clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. And the defence can get it clear. Balls come loose, and the chase is on. Well played, he saw that coming. He's had a go! They've done it! The second half sparks straight into life. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Fluminense take the lead, 1-0. Our oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Fluminense have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Here's the delivery. Oh, that's not going to find its target. Struck first time. He's got away with one there. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's away! Passes it through. It's one! It's there! Now oh, listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think, 
it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. That has certainly made things interesting. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. <laughs> is it in? It's come loose. Shoots! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, that's understandable because they haven't found it easy against this defence. And shooting from that sort of range, it's not the answer. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. <laughs> Ball. Who's going to get there? Enrique. Flamengo haven't made a substitution yet. This is promising. Nicely controlled. And he's onside. That is wayward. The defence was made to look vulnerable there. They simply had no answer for that trickery. say he was expecting a better ball than that. Decent progress down the left. Intervention was very necessary. Hooks it towards the front. Looks like a good ball through. He's tried one! Well, with the team's level now, possession is everything for him. He can't keep giving it away. run down the left-hand side. Flamengo cannot afford to waste this if they want to avoid extra time. First official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Fired in from distance. Spoon forward. Keeper's done ever so well. Keeper has shown. It is going to need 30 more minutes. No winner after 90. Yeah, no daylight between these two sides, but I have to say, neither side really did enough to find a winner. They just cancelled each other out. So a short respite for the players. They prepare themselves for another 30 minutes. Pass he's looking for. Thrust towards the front line. Put 
paid to a promising move. Played out to the wing. Home support won't enjoy that. You get the feeling that whoever scores the next goal here will be the winners of this tie. They can't afford to waste chances like that, though. to the wing. He's done an awful lot of running and it shows. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Aimed long and direct. Half-time, extra time. While there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale, I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? This really has been thrilling. Both sides going at it, and now for the final act. It's on a plate! Oh, he's managed to miss it. It's a long one forward. Damiao! It's Damiao! Size all around the ground. Horrible miss. Who's going to make this theirs? Still anyone's game, this. One moment can decide it. It's a very open game and an exciting watch. There are no signs of nerves or, or caginess from either team. This pitch is go-for-it territory right now. for a throw-in. It's a loose ball. Jonathan. There's the whistle, and it is going to penalties. Look, I've been in this position myself, and after a gruelling game, you don't want to back down if the manager asks you to take a penalty for fear of appearing weak. Uh, you can't let fatigue cloud your judgment. So after two long hours, it comes down to nerve, to technique under pressure, to penalties. And he's found the net. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. What pressure each. when you're trailing, but it didn't show. So, the second man in line. Keeper's gone the wrong way. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. So, the second man in line. Our keeper's gone the right way, but can't keep it out. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. No, he hasn't scored. 
The third man in the queue. Ah, oh, super penalty. Pick that one out. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Oh, he's hit the upright. Oh, that's so unlucky to hit the goal frame. Fluminense looking to extend their advantage. Oh, oh brilliant. He had to stroke. save it, it and he did. Make in the end. Flamengo must score to keep their hopes alive. It's there, and the fight goes on. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. I oh, saved it! Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. And now we're into the realms of sudden death. Coolly into the bottom corner. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed the keeper. Fluminense must score here to stay in it. He and scores to there. keep them alive. Nice Now it is unforgiving. Miss, and it could be over. Off the and post. the keeper knew he was beaten, so what a bonus. So we're on to number seven, lucky or not. And that has lifted the roof. So after a gruelling game that went all the way, the winner is decided on penalties. It is a horrible way to lose, and they are heartbroken. The end of the game. Reflections?